Howdy folks and welcome to the, uh, well, week two of uh, season two 2022 in the Formula IR04 and we are at the new track that was released for this season, Winton Motor Raceway and it is fun and I use that term lightly because this corner, this one is a real pain. I'm going to keep it polite. That's all I'm saying. It is a real pain. It seems to be like a dip through it and you can't touch the curb because it's a formula car and it will spit you out. Most most of the curves around here, avoid them. Avoid them like, you know, they're a really bad day. They are huge. They really bottom out this car. Um, any formula car would, to be honest. But yeah, real, real pain in the rear. And um, there are some curves like this one on the exit, which are lovely and flat. But this turn, I do not like it. It is turn something i'll put the number on screen because i've already forgotten the corner number but it is a third from last corner and it is a pain in the rear anywho let's crack on with this now setup wise i'm going to put the setup in my discord because i did slightly change the winton so iRacing has a winton setup i loaded that and i slightly changed it so i have one wing on the front because i was finding the rear end was very um tail happy should we put it i was losing the rear end quite a lot so i reduced the front wing because i had plenty of turn in but obviously the rear end couldn't keep up with it so move that downforce to the rear of the car made a little bit also stiffed up the anti-roll bar just a snack um but yeah the setup will be in there at, but it's pretty much identical to winton track usage is 44 uh, percent moderate usage if you have high usage you'll have more grip low usage less grip track temp a, uh, a toasty 101 Fahrenheit degrees will be above my head. Yeah, quite a toasty track. So yeah, there's not going to be too much grip. Cooler the trap, cooler the track. Sorry, the more grip you have. But the lap I'm going to show you is all the way down here. A 17. Can you see it above my head? Yes, plenty of distance. A 117.340. I did a 317 uh, before, a 17.5 before that, and a 17.4 after that. So yeah, mid to high 17s, I reckon. I reckon keep practicing, keep practicing. I could nip into the 16s. My optimal was in the 16s, if I remember correctly. But yeah, mid-17s for me, I think, is a safe way. This is going to be a game of survival. I know this is a bit of a long intro. I do apologize for waffling. Um, yeah, it's going to be a game of survival. There are plenty of places to spin. There are plenty of places to run off track. And once you hit the grass in a Formula car, you're going straight on. So take it a bit cautiously around here and aim to finish the race. That is going to be my top tip for this one. Otherwise, the two screens above my head, I'll quickly get through this, will be how I get into these sessions. So I use the UI as often as I can to try and get it as accurate as I can to the actual race session. Uh, that's one thing I didn't mention in here. The time and date should be nearly the race session on there. And the other screen is obviously my Discord uh, where the OLAP Billy Up Telemetry replay file and the setup file I'll put in there as well. Uh, you can find the iRacing one, but I'll put my one in there just to be safe. And um, what else is on there? Yeah, Google Docs, which will show you what track guides I've done in the past and a little link to my uh, YouTube channel. And it will be um, what track guides I'm planning to do over the season. So you can fully keep up with what I'm planning on doing. Otherwise, that is a very long intro. But yeah, let's crack on with it. Right then, Winton. And we have no track map because uh, Race Labs haven't updated yet because it's a brand new circuit to iRacing. Only been out two weeks, which is absolutely nuts. But for turn one, we are breaking just as the service roads end sort of thing. Fourth gear, cold tires. You're going to have to take third gear through here, but you can change up into fourth about now. And this corner is absolute flat out. Avoid the curbs on both apexes and avoid the exit curbs there as well as we go past them. Very, very dangerous. We'll bottom out and damage the car. 50 meter board, we are braking quite heavy in a straight line. Try not to lock up the tires and ease the car into the corner here try and miss the curb i do give it a little tickle as i go past which is a bit too much but you can use all of this curb on exit now with the halo bit in the way you kind of want to curve the car around as the dirt kind of push you off the curbing loads of apex curb there dip your tire into the dirt and watch for exit as well very easy to run wide and have a spin this corner is absolutely fantastic. You go into it flat out, and then as you get to the end of the curve, I'm going to have to mark it here. So a few car lengths before that, you want to start lifting off. Stay mid-track because it's very easy to run off wide again and have a spin. Drop it down to fourth gear. Make sure you don't hit any of these curves. And at this point, you want to start thinking about braking. So after we come away from this apex, again, don't hit that curb. It's huge. Brake very easily, very gently. Don't lock up and brake the car literally to a stop. It feels horrendous, but the exit of this corner is very, very tight, and we want to get on the right-hand side of the circuit to compromise this next hairpin. We've got three hairpins in their own. I really love hairpins. Um, yeah, third gear around here, nice and easy. You can tickle the curb as you go past, but this one, you've got to remember that white 
martial post thing as we kind of pass it and come level with it on our right hand side that's when we want to start breaking miss the apex and get a nice late late apex because we want to be on full throttle as much as we can because we've got a good little straight down here that will help with our lap time i don't think it's an overtaken opportunity because this corner is a little so and so it is this is the one i had trouble with on the intro so 100 meter board we're just after it as we get level we are breaking again in a straight line as heavy as we can second gear miss the apex curb and make sure you get a good full throttle exit as well I tried third through there and I find I was understeering off the track too much. So second was a bit, little bit safer to make sure I get a slingshot out of it. Again, the 100 meter board that's on the other side of the track like last corner, which is really helpful. Heavy braking zone. You can see I lock up the inside tire there. So that's why I push me wide a little bit. So probably break just before the 100 meter board. We can use a little bit of pit entry, but make sure you're on the track and the curb starts. Third gear for around this one. Nice, easy last corner. And you can use a little bit of the exit curb as well. Otherwise, that is us done and dusted and what a little track it starts off brilliant it ends brilliant with a really awkward uh, midfield section of those hairpins it is really going to be carnage around there it's very easy to face the wrong way very easy to run wide particularly on the infield at the hairpins so just take it cautiously and aim to survive pit exit is just after this white wall here on the left hand side so just be mindful of that if you are coming into uh, turn one in the braking zone or if you are exiting the pitch you are going to have to want to join the racing line as soon as you can but there is an apex right there um yeah so that is us cross line in a 117.340 Again, practice this track before it goes live because I've got a sense that the racing will be absolute carnage and I really don't want people to get disheartened with this series. It started off very popular in week one, obviously, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed that momentum continues for the rest of the season. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Get subscribed, like the video if you did enjoy it and it helps you out. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next one.